everybody, it's the War Hipster here, coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial for our Flesh Eater Courts wonderful army set. The Crypt Guard are back once again, as you can see. But today we are painting another Grand Court. Yes, we are painting Blister Skin, the other of the main courts. And, uh, well, they've all been primed in White Scar. It's been sent to me as part of the Flesh Eater Courts army sent that Games Workshop very kindly sent me early. And we are going to jump in to our White Scar primed Crypt Guard, as have the rest of all of the Flesh Eater Courts. Uh, and the colour we're going to be using first is Agrax Earthshade. And we're going to be applying this all over their skin. Just like this. Now we're not looking to get it too drowned. So just be careful with how much you're applying. I want to get that really lovely kind of almost Rakarth fleshy Karak stone tone that Agrax Earthshade straight from the pot over White Scar tends to give us. As you can see. So you want to get this all over. And then, once that's done, we'll come back. So with that Agrax Earth Shade all applied, what we're then going to do is take some Berserker Bloodshade. And this isn't going to be a shade per se, it's kind of a blending and also a bit of a stippling. And this is where we want to get that sort of blister skin vibe for. So what we're going to do is we're going to start round here on the shoulder and we're just going to load up our brush with the Berserker Bloodshade and we're going to start stippling this in by just kind of dabbing the brush like this all over and then down the shoulder just a little bit like that. Then we're going to wash the brush. Then, after dabbing the water off, we're just going to come in here and kind of just disturb and blend that paint in. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Like that, wash the brush, and then once again, dab away at the paint, like that. We then want to do the same thing on the top of the head, wash the brush. Dab away. Actually do with adding just a little bit more Berserker Bloodshade just here. Like that. And then we also want to do this down each of the legs as well. Sort of there on the front. And here as well. Like that. Wash the brush. And then once again, just get in there like that. So with our Berserker Bloodshade applied, our blistering has begun. So what we're going to do now is going to make it really angry. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Blood Angels Red and a stippling brush. Now this is a medium shade brush which has seen many better days. And what I've done is I've cut all of the bristles off it basically. So here is a medium shade brush that is intact as you can see. And what I've done is I've cut it right there with some scissors to make a really short stabby little stippling brush. And we're going to take the Blood Angels Red and we're going to take some tissue paper. We're going to grab some of this on our brush and then we're going to dab this into the tissue paper until 
it kind of looks like that sort of thing. Now remember, if you want to, how it looks on the tissue paper is how it'll look on the model. So we're then going to start stippling this into the top sections of the model. Like that. You can also do this on the legs just a little bit. Can be a little bit tricky to get in there. Like that sort of thing. I'll demonstrate that again over on this one. With the Blood Angels Red done, we're then going to do the same thing again, but this time we're going to use Wildwood. And same again, we're going to take a little blob of that, going to work it into our tissue paper until it looks like that sort of thing. And then we're going to very gently apply this towards the top parts. Just like that. So with the skin now all sufficiently blistered, what we're now going to do is take some wild wood I'm going to apply this over the top of any hair. This will just create a really nice transition between the blistering and the actual hair. As you can see, just like that. So with that wildwood all applied, we're then going to take some Saigor Brown. I'm going to apply this over the top of any of his clothes. So with that all done, what we're now going to do is move on to the next couple of colours. Now, as you can see, I've tidied up some bits with some white scar just to make things a little bit easier on ourselves. Um, but what we're going to do next is we're going to take some rattling grime and we're going to apply this over the top of these kind of soft wraps on the halberds, as well as 
kind of strings and things holding on those bones. Specifically on this chap, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Gilliman flesh and we're going to apply this over the top of the snack. I'm going to apply it all the way up, including over the sinewy bit. And with that done, we're then going to take some black Templar and we're going to apply this over the top of the wood on the weapons. And so with that now done, we're going to take some skeleton horde and we're going to plant this over the top of all of the bones. And with that now done, we want to take a small amount of wildwood and we want to apply this over the top of the teeth, the eyes, the toenails and the fingernails. So with that all done, we've just got one last base coat to apply, which is going to be some thinned down iron warriors. I'm going to apply this over the top of all of the silver. Well, all of the metallic details. You don't know it's silver yet because I haven't painted it silver. So calling it all of the silver details doesn't make any sense. But we're going to be applying this iron warriors over the top of all of the metallic areas, such as the cutting edges, <laughs> cutting parts of the weapons and any armour that they might still have attached to their bodies. We've got butcher's hooks as well and things like that. So just watch out for those. So with that all done, we're now going to add a shade. And that shade is going to be some Agrax Earth shade once again. And we're going to be using this over the top of all of the silver. Because they are in fact silver details now. So that makes sense. <laughs> we're just going to be popping it on there. Just like this. So with that all done, our blister skin crypt guard are now what I would call a war hipster battle ready. However, we're not going to leave them there, of course, not going to take them to the next level. I'm going to do this by adding some kind of layers and some highlights. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by taking some flayed one flesh and we're going to be using this to effectively relayer all of the skin, excluding those kind of blistered bits. 
when it gets to the blistered bits, what we want to do is we want to add just kind of little highlights here and there just to kind of really punch up that color and just kind of break up the blistering. So for example, here on the chest, where we don't have any blistering, we're just going to pick out the kind of entire area, like that sort of thing. And similarly, coming down the arm, However, when it gets to this kind of starting to blister area, we just want to add a little bit of this, like so. And then we want to kind of pick out the occasional little corner in that sore flesh. So just like, just there. Got a little boil just in there just around the top like this, got the spine as well. Just like that sort of thing. Just take your time. And then once that's done, we'll come back. So with that flayed one flesh all applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down white scar and we're going to use this to add two different types of things. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a really tiny, teeny, teeny, diddy, little wee amount. I'm going to use this to paint in the eyes. Like that. We obviously have another ride to do. There we go. What we're also going to do here is we're going to use this to add some little spot highlights to our brightest parts of the flesh. So, for example, just there on the chin, and the bottom lip. You've got the eyebrows, the nose, you've got knuckles, like so. We've got the little cuts and nicks and boils and things. And again, we're just avoiding where it's blistered, really, at this point. We're just looking for the brightest parts of the flesh. So with that white scar all applied, we're now going to take a tiny amount of Screaming Skull and we use this to pick out the teeth. Like that sort of thing. And we can also use this to add some little highlights to this bones. With that done on this individual, what we're going to do is we're going to take some blood for the blood god and we're going to apply this around the 
well, the severed bit. finish off our blister skin crypt guard by taking some thinned down iron breaker and we'll use this to highlight all the silver You have to be really, really unlucky to end up as a ghoul, but you have to be really unlucky to end up in blister skin, because doesn't it just look painful? Ugh. Awful. Awful existence. I mean, all fleshy to courts is an awful existence, but I just feel like blister skin is probably the worst. <laughs> I'm really pleased with that effect there. I think it looks really angry, red and sore, which is exactly what you want. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel and you'd like to support me further, you absolutely can do so by heading to patreon.com forward slash warhipster, just like all of these wonderful, amazing people have done. And alternatively, you could become a YouTube channel member by clicking on the join button below, exactly like these fabulous folks have done scrolling up on the screen before you. There are so many of you out there that it really takes my breath away and I cannot thank you enough for everything you do as without you I wouldn't be able to keep making these Contrast Plus videos. And if you really like this video and you want to send me a little thanks just click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to make sure you stay up to date don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.